Hey socialites, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Arielle. I create beauty videos, a little bit of fashion, as well as lifestyle vlogs. So be sure to hit the subscribe button so you too can become a socialite. Today's gonna be another foundation review. I'm gonna be reviewing the new Makeup Forever HD Skin Matte Velvet Blurring Powder Foundation. Now this is the new formulation. It's supposed to have all day wear, be cake free, and creaseless. Now you can also wear this foundation as a setting powder for touch-ups or as an actual foundation. This formula is also supposed to be waterproof, sweatproof, and add hydration to the skin. One of the key ingredients is the Trio Blur Complex, which visibly reduces the appearance of texture immediately and for up to 24 hours. I did pick this foundation up from Sephora and it retails for $43. So if you wanna see how I got this look and how this foundation stood up by the end of the night, then keep on watching. Okay, socialize, so here's the outer packaging. It's just a regular cardboard box that's sort of like a matte black finish that has the Makeup Forever writing on here, just a typical Makeup Forever logo on the front, and it does have red detail on the side. It does come in a tin type form, like a tin can, but in this sort of just rectangular palette type situation that's matte brown with the matte black writing on the front which I think is very chic. To open you push down on the black button completely push it in and it lifts right up. So it does have a full size mirror on one side and then it has the actual foundation on one side and then it comes with a puff like an applicator sponge on the other side. So before I get started, I'm gonna do some underpainting, basically structuring my face first before I apply the powder foundation. If you guys wanna see a full tutorial on what underpainting is, you can go ahead and click that link right there. Typically, I don't prime my face with foundation reviews. I like to see how the product performs on bare skin. Although with powder foundations, I like to use a primer because for some reason, powder foundations get me a bit oily and I have a normal skin. It's not dry nor oily. So I'm using the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. One pump is definitely enough for my entire face. The Stay Naked Quickie Concealer from Urban Decay. Just buffing out the edges. That way we don't have any lines of demarcation through our powder foundation once we get to that step. The Huda Beauty Tantour Contour Cream. This one's in the color two medium. So back to the star of the show. Now I did pick this up in the color 4R61. This foundation does come in 32 colors and about half of them, maybe a little less, would probably work for African American skin tones, which is very impressive. Now the website does state to use a powder brush if you want more of a sheer coverage. For medium coverage, it says to use the white side of the sponge and for full coverage, it says to use the beige side of the sponge. With powder foundations I absolutely prefer to use brushes so I'm gonna go ahead and use a brush today So the claims of this foundation is to have a natural, real skin-like finish, and it is giving really natural and skin-like. It's beautiful. It just makes my skin look really creamy, really nice, was super easy to apply, and I'm not mad at the color either. Now, if you wanted a little bit more coverage, I would suggest to go ahead and take the sponge, like they said, and use the beige side, and just sort of add where you need the coverage. I'm gonna take my Maybelline Cheat Heat just to add a little little bit of blush. Now this is a creamy type blush. One little dot is definitely enough and it's like a mauve color. Oh, 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 
Gonna spray my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. So the claims is that this foundation is supposed to last you up to 24 hours. So we'll be the judge of that. It's now 2.30 p.m. So I'm gonna wear this foundation for the rest of the day and come back and let you guys see my final thoughts. Okay, socialites, so it's now 8.04 p.m. So it's right at five and a half hours later. So as you can see, the foundation did not oxidize, meaning it didn't get darker. It remained the same color, which is really nice. Usually when I use a powdered foundation nine times out of ten it oxidizes so this was pleasantly surprising although i did get a bit oily which is to be expected five and a half hours later you see i'm oily around here uh t-zone t-zone area pretty much a little bit on the chin but i feel like if i'd used a mattifying primer it wouldn't be as oily i just used a regular primer not one that was like super mattifying i don't have any creases and the visible pores are very minimal Overall, I think it's a very beautiful finish and I love the color. Comment down below if you've tried this powder foundation yet. If not, what is your current favorite powder foundation? If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit subscribe on your way out. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Cause too fresh with the scars Well I don't have the answers